Okay, here we go. We got a nice fish on. We're going to have to see what it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bring him in. Bring him in. I'm going to give you my heart. Oh, it's a beautiful coho. Cause you're a sky. Cause you're a sky. A really nice wild coho. We're gonna have to let him go, but beautiful Squamish River wild coho you can see we've got the adipose fin here just looking great we're gonna get the hook out and let him go but he sure took that really nice and hard Well, we've just uh, come about eight kilometers downstream. Upstream, we got uh, one nice coho. He really took the uh, streamer fly, a minnow pattern, aggressively. Uh, we're down now at a lower stream where I've been seeing salmon breach. So it looks like we're getting up to the upper range here where the salmon have migrated so far in the Squamish. And I know this little side channel here leads off to a creek, which often is just choked full of salmon, both chum salmon and coho at this time of year. However, the water is very low this year, and I think they're all stacking up in this pool behind me. So I'm gonna try off with a little bit of a egg pattern, very unobtrusive, kind of drifted through. I could pick up chum, coho, bull trout, rainbow trout, or cutthroat trout that are sitting in behind the salmon. So that's what we're gonna try. First of all, I have to have a lunch and a nice tea because it's just a fabulous day. And of course, you have to enjoy your surroundings and keep your strength up for fighting all those big fish. Cheers. Here we go. Jeez, we got something on. We got a horse on here. Look at it fall. Okay, this guy's worthy of the tackle. Let's see who's better. here another example of a prime Squamish River bull trout. Just look how fat and beautiful this guy is. I mean, isn't that a, just a nice fish? And uh, we're just gonna get a picture here and then let him go. Oh, 